In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Shure MV7 microphone and give you a massive tip that you're gonna be thanking me for later. Now, this is a great microphone. We've been using it for over 18 months now, and I recommend it to all of our customers. You are gonna want some kind of stand or arm for this to go on. Uh, personally, we're using here this Elgato low profile arm, and I've linked to it down below. Now, there is an XLR option for this microphone, but that needs to go through some sort of mixer like a Rodecaster Pro to make it sound good. And I'm not into all that. I just want a rich sound without constantly tweaking dials and changing settings. And to be honest, I think I get a better sound with this USB setup. So connect up the microphone with the USB cable provided. And then in the description, we've given you the link to come straight over to the Shure website to this page. So the Shure Plus Motive desktop app that you need to download. And be sure to go for the desktop one. There is a mobile version. It's not gonna work on your computer. So once you've on this page, click download. And then again, we're downloading it. Pop in your name, emails, uh, details down here, and then click download. Once it's downloaded and you've set it up in your computer, you're gonna end up with this display sitting in front of you. And let me just point out that you can access this on a Mac from the top of your window up here. Now in the app, you get two options, auto level and manual. Trust me, auto mode is the way to go. It is fantastic. So let's select the auto level and let's dial this in. Now right at the top, there's presets. You can actually save your settings once you've done them. We don't need to worry about that. Muting the microphone, if I do that now, you're not gonna hear me. And then this monitor mix, you might have noticed the back of the microphone, there's a jack in there for headphones. So this is really the mix. Do you wanna just hear your voice or do you wanna be hearing playback coming through? from your computer audio as well. So we're not using that, so it really doesn't matter where we set it on this. Now this near far mode down here, you'll see it explained in the manual that comes with you. It says in here with the mic position to select near if you're up to six inches away from this or far if you're six to 18 inches. That's six inches. You gotta have that mic six inches away from you to be in near mode. So I'm going for the longer option and that gives me up to 18 inches that I can have further away from this microphone. Now, mine is just out of shot here, and I would say that in this position, I'm about 13 inches away from this, so spot on in the middle of that far range. But simply toggle between the two, you can hear no doubt how that gets quieter in near mode, and then in far mode, enabling me to just take it out of shot. And then we come down to this tone. Uh, I really like this dark tone. Again, it gives you some instructions in here. Uh, the dark emphasizes the low end for a classic broadcast sound. Then you've got your natural. This is what I actually sound like. And then there's a bright version in here as well. So you can run between these and select which tone you like. Um, but I'm sticking with my dark mode. And then all there is below this is the LED behavior. So I can see a live meter going on on that. It lets me know that it's picking up the audio and it's working. So I like to leave that on, but you can simply turn it off. And all it will do is leave just a set of lights on. And then the night mode just takes the brightness down. Um, so again, I'm not interested in that. I quite like seeing a bit of color down there. And there it is. It's as simple as that to set it up. Far mode, dark your choice with the LEDs. Now, I said to you at the start that there was a massive tip that I was going to give you, and here it is. Notice on this software app right up near the name, there is a padlock. When I click it, it locks down my settings. And why is that such a big deal? Well, because Shaw decided to put a little button on the side of this that if I touch it, it mutes the mic. And I've actually done this where I've been positioning the mic just before recording or just before going live, and I knock it, people are saying to me, you're muted. And I'm thinking, how's that happened? And it's this little button that's on here right next to the dial. And that's it. Now you just open up Zoom, Teams, or anywhere else where you wanna use your microphone, select the Shure MV7, and you're gonna have this beautiful broadcast sound coming through. And now you've got your audio sorted out. Would you be interested in learning what camera I'm using to get this kind of quality? If so, we've made a video for you right over here. I'll see you over there.